We have a legendary car with it. Mercedes CLK GTR in gray. We've got the super cool vent under the wheel, a roof scoop, the Mercedes badge on the front as well. We got a super rare Lamborghini Reventon Roadster here. There's less than 50 Reventons in the world. And there's like only half of them are probably about Roadsters. They're super rare. This is not an average Lamborghini at all. This is an insane car. It's got those super cool rims yep. and that aggressive front. This car right here could beat every single car in this room. When I say every car, I mean every car in a drag race. We got the Porsche 918 Spider as well in yellow and that leather interior, fuel cap, and that big, humongous carbon wing. And this thing is absolutely massive. We have that rear. So let's come around to the front. I cannot believe this though. This is insane. We got the front end on it as well. The nice lights. We got a picture of what it looks like under there. We got the engine, of course, in the back. So it is mid engined. We saw the first career GT yesterday, and now we're back here at a new museum in Rhode Island today. And we found another one in yellow. It has silver. And of course, those exhaust, the big wing, and it's a rear. Yeah, the Porsche 959 right here. It does 200 miles an hour. And then you got one of the original Lamborghinis at the big fat tire. This one is the Mira. Has like the eyelash lights on it. And we have the McLaren 620R, which just recently got added to Forza. And of course it has that little brake light that they had to add after Rebuilding the entire wing just for a road legal version, which wasted them a lot of money, I bet. But those nice, like, Senna style buckets. This car is probably most likely worth more than, like, this entire museum and every car in it. This is the McLaren F1, and it probably cost over $20 million or around that. It's like every car collector's dream to have one of these. This is like. A really nice car, it's got three seats, and it was one of the fastest cars even before Bugattis ever were fast. They got a cool racing simulator here, right next to the Heritage Edition 4 GT. Which one would you buy, the racing simulator or the real Heritage Edition 4 GT? Comment below because I mean, it's a tough choice. I mean, you can drive any car you want on this, and this is like really good. It's got a stick shifter. Yeah, so you can do manual. Pretty cool. 